Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're going to uncreate the Arai Contour X. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before we jump in and geek out on the brand new Arai model you see on the table before me, do us both a favor, subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That's right, do it now. That way you don't miss out on any latest parts or gear reviews. Speed Addicts, always getting first look. Subscribe, that way you don't miss anything. Also, if you'd like to support us here at speedaxe.com by shopping with us, that'd be rad too. We make it easy. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to an Arai Contour X. While you're over at speedaxe.com, feel free to shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two-wheel adventure. Okay, the Contour X, brand new for 2023. I'm not going to hide the ball. This thing is excellent. Of course, it's not inexpensive. It's Arai. That's Japanese craftsmanship. It comes with a price. But there is a lot to like here. There's a lot to go over. Grab your popcorn. We're going to geek out on this right now. First up, this thing is filling in a gap in the Arai line. It's been there for a while. If you had an intermediate oval head shape, which is what the Contour X is, and that's most of our customers here in the United States have that intermediate oval head shape, you either had to go with the Regent X or all the way up to the full-on racing helmet, the Corsair X. The Signet and Quantum are kind of for outliers. They're either round or oval. So there's been this gap in the lineup no longer I think the majority of intermediate oval head shapes that are looking for a full face awry are definitely gonna go with the Contour X. And I don't have to guess, this thing's been out for a little bit. We see the Contour X absolutely flying off the shelf. So the proof is in the pudding here. What kind of rider is this for? Well, sport, sport touring, occasional track days, just straight up touring. You really can't go wrong. It's quiet, it's comfortable, it's got all the creature comforts and it's, at home at virtually any sort of riding position. I mean, if you're the hardcore track day guy or canyon carver, sure, go for that Corsair X or, or maybe another kind of purebred racing helmet. But most of most street riders that are shopping with us these days would be stoked to be in this Contour X. Price range for the solid colors, like you see before me, we got the whole rainbow out here. You get seven, you're gonna pay $749. If you wanna get a few of the graphics that they have already, you're gonna pay a little bit of premium all the way up to 889 at the moment. So not inexpensive, like I was saying before, but a ride never is, and neither is quality. I mean, if you buy that couch on Wayfair for $200, you know you're gonna replace it like twice or three times in the next five years. Helmets kind of work the same way. You get the cheapy, if you ride a lot, you're gonna wear it out. A ride pays dividends over that five year useful life, especially years three, four, and five, where other helmets, the adhesive starts to come apart, the interior starts to fray, loose ends, all that sort of stuff. That's where Arai shines. If you ride a lot or you just want the best, that's when you're gonna pay for that Arai quality. We've got frosted graphics like this blue in front of me. We got a black frost over here. And of course, the hot color, the hot girl color these days, that Nardo gray, hot boy, hot girl color. It's very popular. Here it is. Arai is calling it light gray. Pretty boring. You guys could do better. Five shell sizes, five EPS. Always the Arai promise to make those five shell sizes and five EPS so that you're not wearing more helmet than you need to. Cheaper helmets will use one or two shell sizes. That means, you know, the guy in the medium is wearing the same shell as the guy in the extra large and looking like Jack in the Box, not with a rye. That's one of the things you're paying for. It's expensive to make all of those molds and thus some of that price comes along in that territory. In addition to the five shells, five EPSs, a rye doesn't stop there. Each one is tuned for that size head, that weight of head, and thus that sort of energy mitigation. So this is very well thought out stuff. It's, it's not just a, a fitment thing, it's an actual a tuning thing, and they can tune it specifically for the type of head you are going to put in it. The shell construction, is there SCLC2? It's a mouthful. It's their proprietary blend of aramid fibers and belting system. And when you see the Arai package that they use to lay in the mold to make the shell, it's a full array of different types of materials, different densities, different weaves, and it's not uniform. And thus, the way they lay it in there, it makes the helmet less susceptible to like fault lines and cracking. So when you see this get hit once, you see it get hit twice in testing online, I encourage you to go on YouTube, type in Arai helmet, you know, Snell or crash testing. You'll see when they strike this thing, you don't get those uh, straight fault lines or anything like that. That weave is meant to defer any sort of cracking or lines like that or mitigate that the best that it can depending on that impact scenario. Weight, 3.5 pounds, pretty, 
or three pounds, five ounces, or 1500 grams. Pretty lightweight, especially for a ride, which isn't necessarily known for a lightweight helmet. We like the weight. It's pretty solid right in the mid-range. DOT Snell 2020D. Arai is a big believer in Snell. And when we talk to them, because different safety homologations are really hot to talk about now, we got the new ECE 2206 in Europe, and we say, hey, why didn't you get that ECE label on this Arai? They tell us we don't build our helmets to a specific test, and they're not necessarily arrogant about it, but we'll call it confident. They say, we've been building the safest helmets we can to our experience since the company was founded, still family owned, by the way. They take safety very seriously, it is their top priority. So they feel that they can meet or exceed virtually any safety standard out there on the market today, even if that specific helmet in that specific market is not carrying that label. So they don't get hung up on that sort of stuff. Mr. Arai recently won the FIM Gold, Gold Star Award. You can check that out online. So safety you can check that box all right that's their top priority for you that's their promise extra small through to extra large and i love a rye fitment it is very consistent i don't care if you wore an awry 10 years ago you wore it today what model whenever i reach for one extra large boom just like home plenty room for the ears it's a very nice place to be now another thing with a rye is that you're going to get extreme amount of options to customize the fit adjustable cheek pads we'll show you in a minute the liner, different sizes available, customability or customizability in the liner. You can tear away different sections of the foam, really fine tune it. It's one of those things you get when you pay this kind of money and purchase an Arai. Now, remember, when it comes to fit, you're going to go by that sizing chart from Arai at speedaddicts.com. In case you get it wrong, don't worry. Shop with Speed Addicts. We got you covered. No cost returns. That's right. We don't nickel and dime you like those other guys. Free return label is yours as long as you live in the lower 48 states and the helmet's brand new in that original condition. Let's check out the exterior. Very aesthetically pleasing. I've been trying to show it off to you while uh, I've been blathering here, but you'll notice very spherical. It's their R75 head shape. That's something Arai sticks with. Now, they don't do big dramatic angles, and a lot of that new school stuff you're seeing from other helmet manufacturers that looks cool. The problem is it doesn't slide cool. If you have big angles on this, you're sliding. You don't glance off things like Arai wants you to. It catches up. It's going to put more energy into your dome. This is bad. Arai wants to fight that energy mitigation battle on the outside of the helmet. That's why they stick with this spherical space or shape. Now, to spice it up on the Contour X, they did give you this really nice diffuser. They painted it to match each helmet. It looks pretty damn good. I know it's not part of the helmet, but it blends in quite nicely, gives it a more modern shape profile and some nice aerodynamics. Another thing they did to spice up the look of it and bring it into the 2020s, I guess that's what we're calling this era, is this really cool uh, logo slash ducting. So at first glance, this helmet looks like it doesn't have a ton of ventilation, right? You got these two kind of uh, anemic vents up here. Uh-uh, you've got a whole set of uh, ducts underneath here and you got multiple settings to open them up. You're just gonna lift that or all the way open in that position. So really cool, something I haven't seen before, and it works even better, it works quite well. So you get ventilation intakes through that awry vent. Of course, they're all painted to match that particular helmet. That stuff's expensive and it's annoying to keep up with from a warranty standpoint. If people bump these off, they have to stock each individual color, but it gives it a really cool, kind of unique flavor that they didn't just go with all black, you know, on the vent and the trim pieces. You got these two intakes up here, a little bit higher up. And then underneath the diffuser, you have a three position slide, if you can see up in there. So this is not passive, you can't adjust this. And Arai knows that you're not a toggle switch. They always go with three positions, not all the way open, not all the way closed. I know these are small corks, but they make the difference. You know, if you want a little bit of ventilation, you can have that, or none at all, all the way open, the choice is yours. Down here below, you have the winglet vents. Those are passive and always on. And then to complete their ventilation package, the signature Arai Vaz V shield system with those brow vents. Now, when you open up this face shield, you are going to see that these ducts drop right into your temples, cooling that blood flow right there, keeping you cool, calm, and collected, and hopefully not making mistakes out there on the road. So that is your ventilation. Oh, I almost forgot. We have quite an aggressive chin bar vent it's got kind of these big beefy rails on it you can grab it down here you can grab it up here 
You have a few different ways to switch it. Again, you're not a toggle switch, neither is your helmet. You got three settings. So plenty of airflow. It's gonna put some air on your, your mouth and up on this face shield as well. Okay, now let's talk about the face shield. If you have a Corsair, you got a Signet, you got a Quantum, guess what? You can use the same face shield. You have the Pro Shade system. You can use that in case you're not aware, the Pro Shade is an extra tinted visor mechanism that can hang on top of a clear, giving you the versatility of an internal drop down visor without making that safety sacrifice that you do when you put one of those drop down sun visors inside of a helmet. Arai will never do that because to do that, you have to remove EPS. And this is a very high probability impact area in the forehead. They do not want to shove a shield in there and remove that EPS. So to solve that problem, they have that pro shade system. You can get that at speedx.com and uh, that will give you that versatility in different lighting conditions. For eyes listening, I'm not sure why they haven't come out with a photochromic shield. They're way behind the times they should do that. Even though they're expensive, they are quite nice. I like them a lot. Okay, so you get that ventilation built in. This is the same shield from the other models. They also have iridium shield options, kind of whatever you want besides the photochromic. Again, I'm reminding everybody. Okay, you're gonna open this up. Now with the Arai face shields, you don't get a bunch of detents. It's a smooth slide up until the top, and then there's two positions at the top and all the way down, okay? Now, they do have a demist setting, and you can set it right above the lock. You're gonna push it down, locked, and then unlocked, okay? So this is their, their very secure locking system. If it's fully engaged, this shield is not going anywhere. When you wanna go up, you lift up. Pretty straightforward. You wanna leave it cracked, demist, you can. Now, let's get on to the pivots, whoops. Sorry, before I do, of course they're including a pin lock insert for, you know, we're talking seven, eight hundred dollars. You should get one of these. This is a fog insert in case you're unaware. It's going to install on the inside of the face shield, reducing or mitigating fog. And they give you one in the package. See these little nipples? You're going to install that there. They're sold separately if you get extra shields and you don't want to bring it back and forth. Here we have our pod, the dreaded Arai pod. Let me explain what's going on here. To release this, if you're going to change your face shield, we're going to press back. Whoops. Shield has to be all the way up. You're going to press and lift that off. Back in the day, these pods were not connected to the helmet, which meant if you didn't clip them on, they would, and, and they got bumped on the road, they were gone on the freeway, and you had to buy a new set. It sucked. Now they connect them with a cable. They're harder to lose. The reason they go with the pods is because of their pivot kit mechanism. You see how flush this is to the helmet, uh, how far out it's sitting? Other manufacturers that have more complicated and less cleverly designed pivot kits they have to indent the, the shield, the mold, has to come in towards your head that is less safe, goes against the awry ethics here. So that's why they're doing this pod, that's why you have to battle with this when you go with your face shield, getting the face shield on and off the helmet. Once you've done it a few times, it's really not that big a deal. And again, it is an improvement on safety because you do not have a piece of the shell coming in at your head. When you're ready to reinstall your pod, you're just gonna hang it up on this uh, top clip and then Gently press down below until you hear that pop. And now you are in good shape. You're ready to ride off into the sunset. One other thing I'm gonna call out on the Arai Contour X is that they've actually made this section right here. We're gonna mount your comm system nice and flush. There's no longer this hyper ridge extending right in that comm system zone. That's awesome. I don't care what you're running. Senna, Cardo, you clear. You will be able to install it much easier. You also have a nice speaker pocket on the inside of the helmet. Arai is modernizing, we like that. They know a lot of their riders riding with those comm systems these days. Let's roll the helmet over and check out the interior. Oops. Okay, you will notice we have a separate neck roll from the rest of the interior. It's a great place to stow your wires. They're gonna expect you to do that. The neck roll is removable. To get it out, you're going to grab and slide. We'll leave it in place for now. Also, you have a chin curtain. Not super pronounced, it's, it's um, kind of like a medium small chin curtain. It's nice because it's not gonna make it more difficult for the, you to get in and out of the helmet, but it's gonna help cut down on that noise while we're speaking about noise. We found the Contour X to be pretty quiet considering how well it flows air. So take that for what it's worth. In, in case you're worried about noise, just make sure you get a nice snug fit. That's the number one thing you can do to help out with that noise situation. Try the helmet on at home for 20 or 30 minutes on the couch. Make sure it's as snug as possible without causing discomfort. If you have discomfort, call Speed Addicts and talk to our rider support team and we will help you. On the ride uh, D ranks, you'll notice there's a date stamp. That's your born on date of your helmet. A nice place, a nice thing to know. You understand how old the helmet is, the production date. Cheek pads, removable emergency quick release cheek pads in case EMS has to get you out. They're gonna go ahead and pull those and ease those cheek pads out of the way. 
to more gently remove the helmet from your head. The opening of the Contour X is five millimeters wider than some of the other Arai helmets, making it easier to get on and off your head. No one likes their ears getting torn off. Arai cheek pads come out a little differently because they are actually, the cheek pad comfort liner is actually one and the same as the EPS in that area. So it's not just snaps. You actually have to grab this whole chunk. And on the Contour X, I've had the most luck by just grabbing and kind of pulling down and sliding that out of the way. Okay, here's the cheek pad. Like I said, we have foam EPS here. When you look inside the helmet right here, that is just the shell. And it's covered by a sock, removable washable, of course. You have sections of the cheek pad foam that you can peel away. If after riding the helmet the first few times you're still getting too much pressure in the face, that's the first step. If that doesn't do it, call us, get a different set of cheek pads if you need a more uh, substantial change. You notice, see this little ring right here? You're gonna peel that away to put your speaker for your comm system right here on this cheek pad, and then you're gonna cover it again with the sock, and it's gonna be stealthy. It's gonna be comfortable, still plenty of room for your ears. There is the cheek pad setup. Antimicrobial liner. It is a good step up. Sorry, let me turn this. From the Regent X um, interior, very similar to the Contour or the Corsair or uh, even the Quantum or Signet uh, liner system here. Again, you've got that adjustable foam on the inside of here. Now with that out of the way, you can see, like I said, that is just the shell on the inside. Comfort liner, highly adjustable. Comes, comes out in uh, here. You can adjust the way the helmet sits on your head with this comfort liner. You can get different thicknesses. You can get different um, relief on this, uh, this foam inside here. You got more peel away sections. You can adjust these snaps and adjust how the helmet sits on your head. So Arai is always about that custom fit and all those different options. And you can get different sizes of the headliner depending on what shell size you have. There are some finer adjustments there. So antimicrobial washable, they do use the snaps instead of the brow vent or the brow attachment because they do have that ventilation up there in the way. Odor resistant, of course, and five-year warranty from Arai. They take their quality assurance very seriously. So we really just don't see that many warranty claims when it comes to Arai, but they are gonna stand behind that product for the full useful life of the helmet. That is the Contour X, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video. If there's still questions you might have, you should also check out our test ride in the Contour X where our team test pilot took this out for a ride. We'll put that link in the description as well. If you still got questions, talk to the rider support team over at speedaddicts.com where you can always talk to a human over the phone, emails, or live chats. That does it for today, folks. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.